We're back with Ryan Painter from in Utah this week with our weekly movie review and uh, summer winding down. Yeah. G.I. Joe. Let's start off with that. We got four movies to get through. Yes, G. So G. Lots, a lot of stuff today. Uh, G.I. Yeah. Joe, as long as you completely abandon any concepts that you had going into what G.I. Joe was, you'll probably enjoy the film. Uh, they completely abandon anything that had to do with the original story or the, you know, they, yeah. they use a lot of the character names and some of their characteristics, but they go as far as to make this, it's not even a U.S. Army force, it's an international covert, you know, uh, spy organization sort of thing. And so it, it just really doesn't have that G.I. Joe feel. But as far as action sequences go, it has a lot of explosions. It's a sort of film where they talk. You wish they would shut up and just get back to blowing things up. But it's it's fairly enjoyable. Okay, so you liked it. Uh, I thought it was okay, better okay. than I expected. That a lot of people will probably enjoy just yeah, the I think, action yes, part of it. Exactly. Okay, what do we have next? Uh, Julie and Julia. Is which this is, a chick flick? It is a chick flick. And to be honest, uh, anything a film about Julia Childs did not appeal to me going in. I thought yeah. I always found her to be really kind of annoying and over the top. But it actually works as a film. Uh, Meryl Streep is, it pulls off the role in, in a way that you, you can enjoy. She talk like her? Uh, yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but it, it turns out to be pretty funny. And uh, you know, the, her personality actually adds to it. Uh, there's another side story that is about Julie, who is this, this housewife who is kind of mm -hmm. depressed and, and stuck in a rut. And so she decides she's going to do a blog about cooking all of Julia Child's recipes. So there's these two stories going on. And, and unfortunately, the, the contemporary story with Julie is, is kind of flat and boring, but the, the Julia Child stuff works really well. I guess the question is, would I fall asleep tonight on a Friday night if I went to sleep? I don't think you'd fall asleep, no. Okay. Uh, I think you'd enjoy it. It's, it is really a chick flick, though, but it is a little more enjoyable than I expected. Okay, number three. Uh, Perfect Getaway, which is kind of a thriller, and it's terrible, uh, except for the last 20 minutes where it almost turns into a parody of the genre. Not, not on purpose, it's supposed to be serious, but at that point it just gets so outrageous that it's, it's yeah. fun, but it's hard to recommend because you have to sit through the first 60 minutes, which are really boring, to get to that, yeah. that 20 minutes. That so probably don't waste your money on this one right now. No, skip this, maybe red box it. Okay, finally. Finally is a film called The Cove, which is probably going to be uh, up for an Academy Award for documentary. Really? I'd be shocked if it actually doesn't win uh, Best Documentary this year. It's about... Uh, uh, a group that goes and investigates this this company that slaughters dolphins in Japan, and it's pretty. Is this mainstream or is this? Just, it, you know, surprisingly, I would say yes. This is mainstream because they use a lot of. Uh, kind of espionage things. They have to sneak into this area, so they use all this high-tech equipment. So it almost feels like a spy thriller at times mm -hmm. inside of a documentary about this, this horrible thing that's going on. And it's the sort of film that even if you don't care about animal rights and that sort of thing, you, you watch it and you can't believe that this is going on. So it's highly recommended. Okay, so this is opening in all theaters, major opening? Yeah, uh, The or? Cove is going to be uh, just a Broadway. Okay. Uh, uh, the other stuff should be at, at, at right. everything, though. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ryan, thank you very much. Oh, we no appreciate that. And and uh, is G.I. Joe the last of the so-called blockbusters that's coming uh, out this summer? Pretty much for this until we get into fall where they kind of launch again, yeah. Okay, well, thanks. All right, sounds good. Thanks, guys. I want to check out Julie and Julia. Oh, that yeah. That's cute. Yeah, and okay. we'll meet Ron there. Yeah. How's that sound? Okay. Well, okay. he sleeps. Yeah, well, he sleeps. <laughs>